Hi hey guys, so today I want to share some tips with you on how to charge an iPhone quickly. Now, I think since the very first iPhone, Apple has bundled this mediocre 5 watt power adapter with every iPhone. And this is literally the slowest way to charge a phone, as I'm sure you may have figured out by now. So the question is, how can you charge a phone quicker? Well, first of all, with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, Apple has introduced fast charging. So a faster way to charge the phone as compared to traditional methods. But what you need to get the benefits of fast charging is, a, is the right power adapter, basically. And Apple recommends um, at least a 29 watts power adapter with a USB-C interface that supports power delivery. So what that means is you need one of these are adapters, for example, that has a USB-C port. Uh, you also need a USB-C to lightning cable, meaning USB-C on one end and lightning on the other end. This obviously goes on the charger and this one goes on the phone. Obviously, the Apple chargers are relatively expensive. Um, and then you have to buy a cable. But there are some alternatives. Um, if you don't need the very fastest charging speeds, you can simply repurpose the charger of your iPad if you already have one. We've been doing this for years. It's not quite as fast as USB-C, but it's almost twice as fast as this guy. Now, just to give you some numbers in comparison, Mac Rumors has done a test last year with the iPhone 10. And with the XS, Apple hasn't really improved charging capability, so the numbers still apply. But based on the test that Make Rumors did, a 15-minute charge with the traditional 5 watts adapter is going to charge the battery to approximately 11%. Again, that is within a 15 minutes of charging. In comparison, the this guy here uh, charges the battery to about 21%. And the fastest speeds you actually get with an adapter that's, that has 18 watts or more. I know I just said before Apple recommends 29 watts, but according to the tests of Make Rumors, anything above 18 watts is really gonna do the trick. And in comparison, in 15 minutes, you can, get, you can charge the battery to approximately 28%. The good news is there are a couple of third-party adapters on the market that support fast charging and that only cost a fraction of what the Apple adapters cost. And one such example is this iClever adapter. Well, this particular model is actually for Android, um, which supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, which Apple doesn't support. But iClever has a number of adapters that support USB-C with power delivery. They cost anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks or so. And then all you need is the cable and you get the fastest charging speeds possible. So. What that means is that in an hour, you can charge an iPhone 8 or newer to almost 80% battery capacity. That's significantly faster than uh, this guy, which would charge the iPhone in the same uh, time frame to only about 38%. So that's really it. If you need the fastest possible speeds, USB-C uh, is the way to go. If you can live with slightly slower speeds, like this 12 watt adapter that comes with the iPad will do the trick as well. And the beauty of that is you can still use your regular uh, USB-A to lightning cable. Uh, but I would recommend getting either a third party or an Apple branded uh, USB-C power adapter with the corresponding cable. With the cables in particular, I recommend going with the Apple, the channel with Apple branded ones. Uh, there are a few third-party options uh, that support USB-C to Lightning right now on Amazon. All of them have bad reviews, so I decided to get the Apple cable. Uh, this looks really sturdy and it's thicker uh, than you might expect and this should hold up much longer. Now, all of what I just talked about, I've also documented on my blog. Uh, link in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, the thumbs down button seems to be working as well. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more.